Jambo jambo. Hello my good students. Welcome to today's lesson. Karibuni sana kwa kipindi cha leo. My name is Mili. Jina langu ni Mili. And today we are going to learn about Swahili noun classes. Leo tunasoma kuhusu ngeli za Kiswahili. As we can all remember we said noun classes in Swahili they are ngeli za Kiswahili. So we are learning about ngeli ya u u uzi that is class u u uzi and ngeli ya u u u u that is class u u u u. So we have two different classes that we are going to tackle today. But before we get to this, if you are new here, welcome and welcome to the home of Swahili native speakers. All you need to do is to make sure you hit this red subscribe button here, turn on your notification, enjoy the lessons because each and every time we get to upload a new video, you will be among the first people to get notified. For our returning subscribers, thank you and thank you so much for always turning in and we love you so so much. So let's head on to our today's lesson. This noun class has the following nouns. We are referring to these two noun classes. They have the following nouns. Category A, we have concrete nouns with various plurals. Concrete nouns with various plurals. Don't worry about these ones because as we continue with the lesson, we are going to name some of the example nouns which fall in these categories. So just keep on watching as we do this. And then we have category B of uncountable nouns with no plural form. Uncountable nouns with no plural forms. Most of these nouns fall in the class o o o o. And then category C, we have nouns that are mostly formed from adjectives, nominals, or verbal roots. Nouns that are mostly formed from adjectives, nominals, or verbal roots. So we are going to see these nouns. And we get to know which ones fall in this class and which ones fall in this class. Just stay around and keep watching. And our category A is what we are starting with, which we said concrete nouns with various plural forms. Nouns in this category, they fall in the noun class o o u z. Nouns in this category, they fall in the noun class o o u z. Their plural forms start with different letters. That's why we say they have various plural forms. So we have those who start with U and Y in plural. So this is singular and this one here is plural. So let's see some of the nouns. They are not all, but we are just using examples to let you understand. So the first one we have Uso. Uso. This is a face. Then in plural we say Nuso. New so for faces. Our next noun we have uzi. Uzi. Our third noun in this category of u and ny we have ufa. Ufa. As you can see, it starts with u, which we identified here. In the plurals, they start with ny, which we have identified here. So we say ufa. This is a crack. And in plural, we say nyufa. Nufa for cracks. Under category A, we have those nouns which start with O in singular and N, D in plural. So let's have a look at this. Ulimi, ulimi, tang. In plural, we say ndimi, ndimi for tongues. Then we have udevu, udevu. This is a beard. In plural, we say ndevu. Ndevu for beards. And then we have those which start with u and in singular, in singular and in plural, they start with m, b. The first noun we have here is ubao. Ubao. This one is a board. A board. In plural, we say Mbao, mbao for boards. As you can see, in singular, it takes u, and then in plural, it starts with mbu. So, the next noun is ubavu, ubavu, a rib. And in plural, we say 
mbavu mbavu for ribs then we have ubawa ubawa wing when they are many we say mbawa mbawa for wings then we have those which start with w in singular and n y in plural so we have wakati wakati this is time and then in plural we say nyakati nyakati for time then we have wembe wembe a razor blade razor blade and in plural we say nyembe nyembe for razor blades another noun we have under this one is wimbo wimbo a song in plural we say nyimbo nyimbo for songs they start with u in singular but when it gets to plural they don't have a specific letter to start with so we have unyuele unyuele this is hair and then in plural we say nyuele nyuele is still hair and then we have another one ufunguo ufunguo for a key in plural we say funguo funguo for keys another one we have ukuta ukuta for a wall in plural we say kuta kuta walls then we have upande upande side plural we say pande pande for sides our plural form under this category this one starts with ny this one starts with fu this one starts with ku and this one starts with pa so it doesn't have a specific form in plural form but they still fall under category concrete nouns with various plural forms so let's go to category b where we had uncountable nouns with no plural forms uncountable nouns with no plural forms what you need to know is that nouns in this category they remain the same both in singular and plural form when forming a sentence using the verb they still remain the same way let's have a look at example nouns under this we have them in singular and in plural form the first one we have udongo udongo this is soil in singular form and then we have still udongo in plural form for maybe the ground yeah and then we have ugali ugali this is a corn paste corn paste one of the staple meals in kenya when you visit kenya just say you want ugali and yamachoma you will enjoy and you will come back again then we have ugali still in plural we still say ugali for corn paste and then we have uji uji this is porridge porridge in plural it remains uji uji for porridge another one we have ulimwengu ulimwengu the world and in plural still remains the same ulimwengu ulimwengu for the world as i told you earlier nouns which are in this category of uncountable nouns they fall in the class u u u u these ones fall in the noun class u u u u so all the nouns we are trying to name here they are in this class don't forget that our next noun we have umeme umeme this is electricity in plural it remains the same umeme umeme for electricity our next noun we have umri umri edge umri is edge in plural remains the same for umri umri edge and then we have unga unga this is flour in plural unga unga for flour then we have the last one under this category uongo uongo a lie and then in plural we say uongo uongo 
for lies uongo lies our next category we have category c of nouns that are mostly formed from adjective nominals and verbal roots so we are going to have some of the example nouns which are in this category and as we all know the nouns in this category they are formed from the nominal roots or from the verbal roots and the nouns remain the same both in singular and in plural form so let's have a look starting with the nominal roots the first one we have mze and mze is an old person old person uze uze for old age old age the next we have mchawi mchawi this is a witch a witch mchawi uchawi witchcraft witchcraft remains the same in singular and in plural form next we have mfalme mfalme this is a king and we get ufalme ufalme this is a kingdom kingdom remains the same both in singular and in plural form and as i told you nouns in this category c they fall in the noun class u u u u so let's see the next one we have mtoto mtoto this one is a child utoto utoto for childhood childhood for utoto and then we have nouns which are under the verbal roots verbal roots we have kukosa kukosa this one is to lack then ukosefu which comes from kukosa ukosefu this is a deficiency deficiency next we have kupenda kupenda to love upendo upendo which means love love upendo then we have kusahau kusahau to forget to forget then we get usahau lifu usahau lifu forgetfulness usahau lifu forgetfulness good so before we get to our sentence formation it is good we have a look at this not because it is the one which is going to guide us in forming our sentences so a not in swahili we say zingatia zingatia to not now we have this when using a verb this noun class of uz uses o in singular and z in plural for sentence formation it uses o in singular and z in plural for sentence formation when using a verb for u u uzi however uncountable nouns and nouns that are formed from adjective or nominal or verbal roots only use u both in in singular and in plural form i hope you have noted this so we are good to go on our sentences and now to our example sentences in swahili we say mifano ya sentence so the first one we have ulimi unauma ulimi unauma the tongue is paining in plural we say ndimi zinauma ndimi zinauma for the tongues are paining tongues are paining as you can see here we have u before the verb and then we have z before the verb so this one takes it to noun class u z u z and then we have ufunguo umepotea ufunguo umepotea the key is lost the key is lost you take note of this ufunguo zimepotea Funguo zimepotea. The keys are lost. The keys are lost. This one goes to the noun class o z o z. And then we have number three. Ubavu umevunjika. Ubavu umevunjika. The rib is broken. The rib is broken. Mbavu zimevunjika. in plural 
mbavu zimevunjika the ribs are broken so now class u z u z and then next we have ugali umepoa ugali umepoa the cornmeal has cooled in plural we still say ugali umepoa it remains the same ugali umepoa the cornmeal has cooled has cooled so we have here umepoa and here umepoa so this is in the noun class u u noun class u u and then the last one we have umri wake unajulikana umri wake unajulikana his or her age is known his or her age is known take note of this in plural we say umri wao unajulikana umri wao unajulikana their ages are known their ages are known and in swahili it remains the same umri wake unajulikana umri wao unajulikana so umri unajulikana which makes it to go in the noun class u u until this point i want to say thank you so much for watching and i will see you in our next video kwaheri